1857, architect Alexander Dawson chose the site for a new lighthouse. It was built from strong, freshly quarried stone for ships navigating Cape St George in Australia's Tasman Sea. Why did the lighthouse cause over 20 shipwrecks, and why were investigators suspicious of Dawson? So that question again. In 1857, architect Alexander Dawson chose the site for a new lighthouse. It was built from strong, freshly quarried stone for ships navigating Cape St George in Australia's Tasman Sea. Why did the lighthouse cause over 20 shipwrecks, and why were investigators suspicious of Dawson? Because it was 20 miles inland. <laughs> 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 On his own territory that he sold the rights to. Yeah. yeah. He just wrecks them right there, goes in, picks stuff up, salvages it. His bi- he ran a salvage business. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he ran a salvage business. <laughs> Secondhand ship parts, yeah. There have been folk tales in quite a lot of places uh, around the world of wreckers, of folks who would set up fake lighthouses to to distract ships and say they're in the wrong position to draw them to the shore and, and then salvage what landed. But I feel like if you're getting the lighthouse officially built, that's a very long-winded yeah. way to do that. <laughs> I just love the idea that like the quickest and cheapest way to do that particular scam would be to make a tiny lighthouse and hold it up very near to the edge of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Well, I'm going to say that Dawson was not setting up some kind of elaborate, deliberate shipwrecking endeavour. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's accidental issues, I'm thinking. I just, I'm still stuck on tiny lighthouse really close by. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you can just set one up every every five miles along the whole coast to tiny light. You do that in a day. You just stick an even smaller one on the outside window of the ship's cabin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the freshly quarried stone is, is making me a bit like, why is that so key that it's freshly quarried stone? And was it his quarry? But then that that's just one, one bunch was it, of... Was it far too big? Was it using loads of stone and they queried the expenses? Queried the quarrying. Was it the was it the inverse of what I was riffing on? Did he build far too big a lighthouse, and as a result, people stayed away and crashed into a different island on the other side? Uh, the size of the lighthouse was normal. Okay, okay. But was the freshly quarried stone? Did it have quartz in it, and it was reflective, and it blinded people? Uh, it was just regular stone, <laughs> based on the information I have. Swarovski crystals all the way around the lighthouse, just, uh, just blinding lighthouse. everyone coming over. I'd be struggling yeah. to recognise freshly quarried stone. You could abs- that sounds like the thing a lighthouse salesman would really pitch. <laughs> yeah. I don't guy. know if this is a clue or just the question writer being really, really flowery with the description. Oh, okay, it's okay. A, it's a freshly quarried herring. <laughs> freshly- <laughs> So it's Tasman Sea, it's near, so it's that big Tasmania area. It is a coast. brutal bit of water. That that's uh, that's just the ferries there. Even to this day, have a reputation for being rocking and rolling and really difficult to ride, and just get cancelled sometimes because it's so far south. It's into that that difficult bit in the Roaring Forties. But I don't know if that, that's why you'd need the lighthouse. But I well, don't. What's know the what reason why to... the lighthouse? Maybe the lighthouse light didn't have a bulb, or the bulb kept blowing. Or something. I don't know. Like, why would the lighthouse not be working properly? The lighthouse was functional. The operation of the lighthouse was fine. Was it a mobile lighthouse? <laughs> was it, I'm sort of half serious. It's like Attached they, to the back of a cow. If <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just someone just, in a plane up above going, well, it's not moving that fast. Yeah. <laughs> don't know why we painted these lines. <laughs> uh, it was a stationary lighthouse in a, in a fixed location. Yeah. A stationary normal sized lighthouse. So what reason could they could what reason could put him under suspicion? The choice of location for the lighthouse. That is important, I guess, especially in a place where you're expecting a lot of dangerous waters, you need the lighthouse to be well located. <laughs> Katie, you would be great under MI5 interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I would absolutely not. <laughs> Just, no. Location is indeed an important feature. Okay. Um, hmm. It is a tragedy that the person was murdered. <laughs> he's, he's put it next to another lighthouse or next to something that's distracting or next to something else that creates light. Something else reflective? 
Uh, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't near to another lighthouse. It wasn't an issue with the light aspect of the lighthouse or the fact that it was too shiny or anything like that. I'm picturing he's done it too low or something. Like he's actually <laughs> at put the it... bottom of a pit. <laughs> <don't> a <know>. quarry. <laughs> he quarried the stone. He and quarried then built the, the stone and built the lighthouse in the quarry. <laughs> I mean, this is not quite, but on the right sort of lines. I guess it. How? And it, well, initially, someone said, "Did he build it twenty miles inland?" Which is a hilarious joke. Um, but not actually that far away from something. Was he lazy? Built it next to his. He did build it like next to his house, and was just like, there you go. Or did he build it behind something from which it wasn't visible enough? He built it um, like behind some. Oh, I mean, if it's too long ago, but you know those gas pumps that rise and lower, like some <laughs> some movable part of scenery. Uh, famously on the Tasmanian coast. Or, or um, maybe he just built it close to his house inland. So if something broke and he had to. Well, no, he he picked the site, right? Not quite. Not his house. He picked the site. I mean, you've you've sort of already said it. It was it was really convenient for him because he didn't have to travel far to deal with the light. So it's near his office or his. It's work. not. It's not his place of home or work, but it is something that he's built it nearer to than he should have. The pub. And you've definitely already said is it. Is it the quarry? And then did the lighthouse fall into the quarry? Or was that just an extra? <laughs> It wasn't at the quarry. To save okay. on transport, he built it too near the quarry so that the so that it would be cheaper to move the rocks across. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious when you say it like that, yeah. Stuart. Yeah. 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 So the I mean, aside from apparently, aside from the fact that he built it too near the quarry because he wanted to make it slightly easier to get the stone from the quarry there, he was also just bad at designing where to put a lighthouse so his maps were inaccurate his planning was bad um and you couldn't actually see it from the bay so um, i mean we're laughing but presumably a lot of people died yes there were two dozen shipwrecks in the 40 years that it was in operation you would hope that after the first shipwreck that's on them that's on the authorities wreck me once Mm. shame on me I'm just imagining this Dawson guy being like, yeah, even I get imposter syndrome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> even yeah. me. I'm so good at my job. Yeah. But it, oh, yeah, cool. it was it was there for 40 years. And after enough wrecks had happened, I guess they called it and they demolished the lighthouse. Gosh. Two dozen wrecks. Mm. On wreck number 23, they're like, we'll give him one more go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 